All right, so I've had the old girl on the road for uh, two weeks now. Um, not a lot of problems. Front brakes were a little bit noisy. That's just a little bit of rust on the rotors from sitting all winter. <coughs> but the third time I drove it, brakes were nice and quiet again. Just had to clean the rotors up. But I uh, discovered I had a noisy lifter. It sounded like it might have been sticking. So what I did is put some of that stuff in it. I don't know if it does all the stuff it says it does, like as far as power and performance and plug fouling, but I do know it reduces engine noise. It's real good for that. It helps lube up the lifters and stuff. Now that stuff is stupid thick. Ridiculously thick. And it's all of about... 40 degrees in here. This is warmer. It's warmest it's been here or in this garage in uh, three days. And that bottle's been sitting there for two days now. And you see there's still a little bit, a couple drops on the underside of it. Still some running down the sides here. But the majority of what was in that bottle is in there. No, that wasn't a full bottle. That was a full bottle. I'd never get this thing to start in less than 80 degree temperatures. This bottle had uh, about that much in it. Yeah, about that much. So I dumped that in there. Hopefully lube up that lifter and quiet it down some. Otherwise it's been running good. Starting good, running good. Lights and clutch and all that stuff are working the way they're supposed to. Shit a little bit of light on the situation here. I'm gonna put my oil cap on. I'm gonna start it up, I think, and run that lube through it. See what that does for it. I open the overhead door first. Turned out to be a not bad day out there. Let's see what looks of things. My camera lens is smudged up a bit. Yeah, I can still hear that lifter kicking a bit. Let that run for a couple minutes and let that bar all get into it. Free up that lifter a bit. There's all kinds of steam, there's always 
always, always, always condensation in that exhaust system. And they say a good engine makes water, so well, I'll let that run for a minute or two and see what happens. She's still making all kinds of steam. That thing always did though. A lot of condensation in the exhaust. Back down in the warm idle range. That's usually just about where it runs when it's warm. Still hear it kicking a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was. I think that ought to just about do it. I think that ought to just about do it. <clears throat> At least that's the hope. Hopefully, if I uh, next time I take it out for a drive and actually get a chance to run it for more than five, ten minutes, that'll run that stuff through there and knock that lifter loose with any luck, anyhow. And another thing before I forget again, I actually got suppliers putting my new tires in the back of the truck with the rims that they're going on. These old, worn out. All seasons are coming off. You can see they ain't got much tread left on them at all. They're just about worn. Let me get some brand new tires there. Actually in the truck. Which puts me one step closer to getting them on the truck. Any luck anyway. That light doesn't seem very bright with through the camera lens, does it? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Plenty bright enough when you're trying to get groceries out of there in the dark, though. And yeah, I got bad springs in the support rod for the cap door. Not real bad. But they're bad enough that you don't have something on there, the door will come down and you'll stand up under it. Which is kind of obnoxious, really. But yep, one step closer to getting the tires on it. Got that light off before I kill my battery.